Hello. Whoa, 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 what's up? Hey guys, it's Tessa. So I dyed my hair funky colors again the other day. And I also added another row of dreadlocks to my hair. So today I'm going to be cutting some layers into my hair. As you can see, my hair is very long. So it's past my boobies. So I want my hair to be more layered, kind of more textured on the top. So the dreadlocks will come through, like peep through a little bit more. Because at the moment, my hair is so long, it just kind of covers all the dreads. I am loving this hair dye, like I am loving it. It's so pretty. I dyed my hair this way so you could have like blue if I'm feeling blue and then I could always like switch it up and be like purple if I feel like being more purple. So it's kind of one of those split personality hairstyles, which is nice so I can have the best of both worlds for what hair colour I wanted to go because I couldn't decide because I love all of the colours so go my favourite colours it's nice so I still have some of the blonde I wanted to keep some blonde so it's not too overpowering like well that's bright I mean yeah it is bright but it's still kind of you know subtly subtle no it's not really subtle is it no so I'm going to start by brushing my hair get out all those knots Wow, look, I mean, look how long this is. This, this is how long my hair is. It is so long. So about a year and a half ago, I tried a hair product, which was meant to help with hair growth. And I looked at the ingredients and it had caramel in the ingredients and it made my hair so sticky that when I brushed my hair, it actually broke off. That was not a good experience. It was really frustrating. I was so angry, especially when I was trying to grow my hair and all the hair on my head was all one length. So this bad boy here, <laughs> this is the bit of hair that broke off and it's only just got back to shoulder length now. So when it broke off, it was like up here. It was the shortest bit of hair on my head. So what I want to do today is kind of create some layers making this kind of like the shorter layer of the hair and then have it like feathered out going into the rest and also feathering and making the layers on the hair will bring out the colors on the top like make it more like shaggy wispy i i um, hope i hope okay so that was that's the plan uh if you guys are wondering how i dyed my hair these colors the video should be up on my youtube channel because this is the one I recorded after dyeing my hair, so it should definitely be up by now. So go check it out if you want to know how I dyed my hair these funky colours. I'm still obsessing over my hair dye job that I've done, it's just so awesome. Especially when I've been blonde for the last like year. I've only had like pastel colours, so it washed out my hair pretty quick. Having some bright colours back is just, I feel more myself now. It was nice to have a change. So I'll show you guys how high the dreadlocks come up on my head. So the dreadlocks come to just above my ears. So what I'm going to do is just tie all my dreads out the way. So then we just have the loose hair that we're going to work with. I also have a mirror in front of me and a mirror behind me so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to clip my loose hair out the way for now. I'm taking... The dreadlocks, I'm just going to get a rubber band or a hairband, tie them out of the way so I don't cut any of these. Don't forget that little bit of hair that's just behind my ear. Okay, so that's all the loose hair now. Whew. I do have a fringe which I'm kind of thinking about growing out, but I'm not too sure. I do like how it looks at this length, so just leaving it alone. Don't want to do too much. So I also want to change all the jewelry on my face just to give a completely new look as well. So that's coming up. I have this really pretty opal labret that I want to put in my Medusa. This is the Medusa piercing. If you guys don't know, it's the top lip in the middle. So <laughs> planning to make a how to make a nose chain tutorial. And I'm really excited to make that one as well. It'd be so fun. I'm just taking all of my hair Making a middle parting, or as close to the middle as you can. Look at this blue though, it's... Ah. So just brush all those knots out. I also had a question from one of you guys and you wanted to know how do I not make my hair dye bleed into the rest of my hair? Basically, if you wash your hair dye or your coloured hair in cold water, it stops the colours from bleeding into the rest 
of the hair so cold water is the secret so i was looking at some diy tutorials on youtube on how to give yourself layers and there is a technique that basically where you put your hair in a ponytail onto the top of your head like that and then you brush all your hair down and then you cut it like that and then when you let go your hair should be layered <laughs> when i used to cut layers in my hair because i have always given myself haircuts it's been probably like I don't know, like seven years since I've been to a hairdresser the last time. What I like to do is I like to brush my hair forward like this and then with my fingers create an angle like that and then cut with the scissors and that would also create the layers that I want. So <laughs> I'm still debating on what sort of technique I'm going to do. So I might just brush it all forward and cut like that because I know it works. I don't know whether it's wise to try a completely new method when I've never done it before. You know what, I think we, we should give the, uh, the ponytail technique a go. I mean, if I've never tried it before, <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, right, so you brush all your hair forward and you put it on the top of your head Okay, so basically you brush all your hair forward like this. It's okay, if it goes wrong, I can fix it. Just don't cut so much off that it could go wrong, you know? So from once you have a ponytail, tie it in place. Oh my God, why am I doing this? Okay, look, I've also put in the ponytail, my fringe, so keep that out of the way. <laughs> now the ponytail is meant to be on your hairline or like just above your like forehead so this is what it's meant to look like okay guys this is what everyone had their hair like in the video tutorial on how to cut layers okay right <sighs> you can look can you tell I'm nervous so once you have your hair tied up on your head like this you want to take another hairband and tie it further down to the point where you want to cut now I don't want to cut too much off so, I'm going to cut about this much off, okay? We'll start off with that much. So it's just going to cut the ends off and should just create that uh, texture. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start and just cut this bit off. And if I don't like it, then I guess I'll have to cut some more. <laughs> okay, right, let's do it. Ooh, it feels really crispy. Now I'm gonna take take the hairband off where I just cut. Look at the colours on this piece of hair. Oh, it's so pretty. So now I'm just going to kind of cut into this hair so the edging isn't so sharp. You don't want to go in too much, only about an inch or so. Just feather it out a bit. Okay, so that looks a little bit less sharp okay now moment of truth let's see if this actually works <laughs> oh my god i cut my hair oh it worked oh wow <laughs> let's have a look at this a minute oh wow oh 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 wow just gonna brush my hair over to the side this is how i normally wear my hair I mean, obviously, looking at the hair that I cut off, so I cut like how much off? Off the blue and the purple, so this was this long. Oh, so if you can see like, okay, it's a good two inches. So now it's not going over my boob. Yeah, it's definitely layered. Like you can definitely tell it's layered now. It's not as choppy as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be more, you know. So also on the video tutorial on how to do the ponytail method to cut your own layers, they also said the higher up you have the ponytail, the more dramatic the layers will be. So I did have it quite low, I guess, on my head. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I might even cut in some shorter layers, but I like it. 
you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna brush my hair forward and I'm just going to kind of cut into the uh, cut into the sides a little bit. Okay, so I think I think that will do for the trim. <laughs> so there we go, guys. That was me cutting layers or kind of cut layers in my hair it definitely looks a lot more even now when I dyed my hair I put all the purple on this side so if there was purple on here it would look you know so let's see what it looks like with the dreads you can definitely see the dreadlocks a lot better now so you haven't got so much hair covering it up on the ends Overall, I would definitely recommend, if you haven't cut your hair before, to try the ponytail method of <laughs> DIY layers. It's actually quite easy to do. And if you're not going to cut too much off, <laughs> then yeah, it's not too much of a shock when you see the results. It's good. So there we go, guys. I hope you found this video entertaining and helpful. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Go subscribe for more. And I'll see you lovelies very soon for some more crazy videos. Bye, guys. <laughs>